Welcome all, Dave here with another deep dive into the golden age of 70s prog. Now today we're talking about the mother, and some might say father, of all rock epics, Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. Like, you kind of knew that this one was coming, didn't you? Now if there's one track that has been transcended its era and cemented itself as the cornerstone of rock music, it's this one. We're talking about Led Zeppelin IV, released in 1971 and crafted by the legendary Page Plant duo. For many, this is the band's magnum opus, a defining moment not just for Led Zeppelin, but for rock music as a whole. This is the track that every budding guitarist dreams of mastering and one that's been really etched into rock's collective consciousness ever since. Stairway to Heaven is a masterclass in songwriting, starting with a hauntingly beautiful acoustic guitar and gradually unfolding into a powerful, electrifying climax. Page's guitar work is nothing short of mesmerising and plants vocals, the pure poetry. The lyrics, mystical, cryptic and open to a million interpretations, telling a tale of well, really a woman's search for spiritual fulfilment and touching on themes of life, materialism and enlightenment. Musically, it's genre-bending triumph, folk, prog and hard rock woven together in perfect harmony. Is it really prog? Well, it might not fit everyone's definition of the genre, but it ticks enough boxes for me, and I think that's worth debating in the comments down below. Let me hit the play button, and let's listen to the track one more time.
new day will dawn for those who stand long and the forests will echo with laughter The tingles that are running up and down my spine just stop for a few moments. Wow. Page's iconic guitar work there, especially in that final section, is often cited as one of the greatest guitar solos in rock history. It's blistering, it's emotional, and it's unforgettable. Page himself once said to Louder Sound magazine, Is Stairway to Heaven my best Zeppelin guitar solo? No, but it's pretty damn good, and if everyone else says it's my best solo, then that's great, that's good. But there are others that I prefer. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? 
What solos could possibly top this one? It's by never been released as a single. This song became a, a radio staple and a cultural touchstone, reinforcing Zeppelin's status as rock gods, that awful term. Its enigmatic lyrics still inspire countless theories and debates, and it's a song that's as relevant today as it was in 1971. And on the meaning of those lyrics, Plant has said, It was such a long time ago, I used to say it in Zeppelin, This is my song of hope, but my opinion of the song has changed as the world has changed. A different perspective for every decade, it seems. Now what about performing the song? Well, that was a different story. Plant famously quit back in 1988. I'd break out in hives if I had to sing it every show. I wrote those lyrics and found that song to be of some importance and consequence in 1971, but 17 years later, I don't know. It's just not for me. No more stairway to heaven for me. You can only imagine what his take would be today. I know about John Bonham, then. The man just sat there passively through the song, legend has it, and all that intensity you hear when he finally kicks in was partly the result of him waiting patiently, drumsticks twirling, just itching to explode into action. The song initially didn't hit the heights of some audience members. John Paul Jones is amusingly recalled that fans in Northern Ireland were bored by Stairway to Heaven. They might have wanted... Led Zeppelin to cut their stairway short so they could enjoy and hear some more of the songs that they recognised. Still, the song eventually won over many fans, and much of the band loves it too. Why not? This song is a perfect 10 out of 10 from me, an absolute untouchable classic. So, what do you think? Is it the greatest of all time, or do you have a different Zeppelin track that does it for you? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more from me, the album review guy. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you all in the next one. Keep rocking. Keep rocking.